welcome to Trivia Track. And now, here's your host, Peter Tamarkin. Hey, everybody, welcome to Trivia Track on this New Year's Eve. Hey, 97 was sure heaven, but 98 going to be great, I guarantee you, because we're going to play Trivia Track right here, live, free, interactive, and we got our thoroughbreds ready to compete for today's great prizes. And, uh... Two races with a winner of each one going on to play the exciting triple crown. One of our jockeys will win a fireplace steak. Whoa, that's kind of cool. We got five jockeys at the gate. Let's go talk to them. Hey, here they are at the gate, you New Year's fiends, you. Diane Hype from Goldendale, Washington. Hi, Diane, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, Peter. What you doing New Year's? What's, what's happening? You going out later or what? Oh, no, we'll probably just stay home and watch Game Show Network and have a few drinks. So basically, I'll be the last person you see in 1997. That's kind of scary. No, no, my husband's here, and... <laughs> He'll protect you. Yeah. Right. Who else is it? Just you and your husband? Well, and our two puppies. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you guys are going to lay back and just take it easy and let all the crazy people drive around all night. Right. And you're a very smart person. That's excellent. Hang on, okay? Okay. All right, let's meet Kathy Lemley. She's from LaGrange, Texas. Hi, Kathy. How are how things down there in LaGrange? Cold here. Cold, yeah? Are there many uh, 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 New Year's revelers out there doing crazy stuff yet? Oh, I don't know. I don't go out there. You stay inside where it's safe. Mm -hmm. Well, see, tonight's my anniversary, so there's no need in me going out and partying with everybody else. I can party here. Well, it's my, you know, it's my anniversary, too. Well, happy anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary to you. How many years? Twenty-four. Wow, you got me beat. This is four. Uh. <laughs> but that's great. So you and your husband just hanging out? Yep, just hanging out. Oh, uh, well, I hope we get a nice anniversary gift here tonight. I do, too. Hang on, okay, Kathy? Okay. All right, let's meet Dawn uh, Lutfi from Valley Stream, New York. Boy, I bet you it's cold up there, huh, Dawn? Yeah, pretty cold. Is snow? Any snow yet? No, not really, just a little bit. Okay. Now, you're, you're hanging in tonight, too? Yeah, with friends and family. How many, so how many people you got over? How many what? How many people are over there? About 11 now. Wow, so it's a little party at the house. Yeah, just a little bit. You're going to have a little champagne toast at New Year's? Of course. Well, it's a beautiful thing. Happy well, let's anniversary. Meet... Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hang on, okay, Dawn? Sure. All right, let's go meet Tony Simmons. She's from Farmington, New Mexico. There's Tony. Tony, was that, was that Tony? Yes. Oh, or did the horse laugh? I didn't know. Tony, what are you doing? Just sitting here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, just watching this. I've been watching Game Show Network, but my kids are up, so we were watching the Rugrats, waiting for Game Show for Tony, the start. Tony, 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 talk to me. Tony. What? Have you been into the champagne yet? No. Okay, you're naturally this way. You don't need the champagne. That's right. That's right. You're high on life. Amen. Amen, brother. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, Tony. We're ready to rock and roll here after we meet one more player, okay? Okay. Becky Reynolds from Brownstown, Indiana. Hiya, Becky. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, just sitting around. Yeah, what, what do you do? Um, I work at a grocery store. Okay, so you got the night off. Yep. Is it just, are you with anyone? Oh, we got a whole group here. How many people? Eleven. Eleven and eleven, this is wonderful. And, wow, so you're going to have a little party, hit a little champagne later on? Oh, no, just playing cards. Just playing cards, that's cool. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to play a little race cards, okay? Okay. You want to do it? Well, we're gonna go, I'm going to go up to the press box. You stay where you are, and we'll find out what the, jo what the prize is for the jockey who wins the race. Juliet by Jeffrey Barson, a limited edition print available only at Deck the Walls. With 200 mall locations nationwide, it's Deck the Walls. Specialists in art, framing, and design. <laughs> All, right. All right, gang, this is a 10 furlong race. Correct answer, first question with one, second, two, third, three, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and let's go down to the field right now. After I read a question, uh, I'll give you three choices. You have five seconds to enter your answer on that old keypad. Don't do anything until you see the three lighted buttons on the screen. And just fill in the missing number. Okay, horses are in the starting gate, ready to go, and they're off. Here's your first question for one furlong. Heavyweight boxer Joe Frazier fought Muhammad Ali for the World Heavyweight Championship three times. How many bouts did Frazier win? Zero, one, or two? I think if you asked Frazier, he wouldn't know himself. He was punched so hard. Whew, those were amazing fights. Correct answer is one, and Kathy and Becky knew all about that, so they're moving off into the lead. A very slight one, but they're in the lead. We're going to go to the second question. It's worth two furlongs. Everybody else jump in here. On May 15, 1930, when the very first airline flight attendants went to work, how many were there? One, two, or eight? One, two, or eight? I don't know. Uh, I think there's only one in left. Okay, the correct answer is eight. And Diane and Tony rocking and rolling, moving out into the lead. And uh, we yet to hear from Dawn. So, Dawn, it's Dawn. Okay. Third question worth three furlongs. 
When the U.S. Treasury Department prints paper money, how many notes are there on an uncut sheet of $1 bills? 12, 32, or 42? <clears throat> I usually buy them by the sheet. I buy them by the sheet, I cut them myself. Yeah. Correct answer is 32. Everybody knows that, except uh, Diane, Dawn, and uh, Tony. You've got Becky and Kathy got it, so they're into the lead. And uh, <clears throat> Dawn, put the saddle on the horse. And let's get with it, you know what I mean? Okay, next question worth four furlongs. What was the number of the rescue unit on the TV series Emergency? Was it 21, 51, or 91? That's something you should know right off the top. I mean, what series was that? Mean, who watched it? Quick, the answer is 51. Everybody watched it except Kathy. Diane, Dawn, Tony, and Becky. Dawn makes your move and moves out nicely. We've got a great horse race going on here. And uh, we're going to go to the next question with four furlongs. Could be won by Diane or Tony on this one. So everybody pay attention. When musical genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote his first musical pieces, how old was he? Two, five, or seven? You know, it doesn't matter what age, but it's incredible that you could basically talk and write music. I did it when I was one. And the correct answer is five. And Diane looks like she's moving ahead of the gang here. Moving out, moving out, followed by uh, Ken and Dawn. Diane. I'm just, the Dawn has not come yet. Congratulations, Diane. Hi, yeah, great. Great race, and a little while you're going to want to play Triple Crown for a chance at that great fireplace set. Okay. And Kathy, Dawn, and Tony, and Becky, thanks for playing. I'm going to send you GSN uh, phone cards, and you guys have a real nice new year, and thanks for watching, okay? Thank you. All Thank right, you. Gonna, all right, you take care, everybody. We're going to take a few minutes out for these messages. Don't go away. Don't. Don't. Okay. Welcome back. We're going to do Trivia Track again until we get it right, you folks out there, you New Year's, e New Year's Evers. Yes, you are. And we're going to meet the five jockeys right now, ready to go on our race. Let's meet them. Yeah. Okay. Jockey number one coming to the starting gate is Rich Paul from Heartland, Vermont. Rich, how are you doing? I'm well, Peter. Yourself? I am fine, thank you. Is it a little uh, cold and chilly up there? Uh, very cold. Yeah, we'll hit zero tonight. I don't need to hit zero. I tell you, that's cold. Wow. What do you do, Rich? I'm a CPA. Oh, so this is like a great thing. You're going back to work after the first. Uh, you betcha. Boy, uh, three heavy, heavy duty months. Now, uh, Rich, who's with you? Uh, my wife, Kelly, and my daughters, Coley and Kristen. Kelly, Coley, and Kristen? Yes. Well, it's, a K, it's, the, it's the triple K. Yeah, you got that right. All right, cool. Good to have you all with us. Good luck to you. And hang on, okay, Rich? Thank you. Okay, we're going to the second gate, but look, it closed. There's nobody in it because we just had a word from the stewards that we had that number two has been scratched, and we have uh, five thoroughbreds racing, four thoroughbreds racing. What is scratch? It's an interesting thing to find out what scratch a horse. I've never quite... Oh. Next guy is Bill Thompson from Athens, Alabama. I guess I can scratch myself. Hey, Bill, what it is? Pretty good, how are you? Okay, babe. Now, tell me, do you know what scratch a horse means when you scratch? I mean, I know it means take him out of the he race. He but... marked out. He took off, didn't he? I'm glad you cleared that clip for me, because I had no idea what, what it was, and I, you really... You opened up a whole new life for me, uh, Bill. It's really amazing. Now, Bill, when what do you, you do? Someone, you just mark him out. That's it. Okay, I got you. Now, what do you do, Bill, besides mark our horses? I'm a retired poultry with a poultry firm here in Athens, retired. So you don't uh, choke any more chickens? No. I've choked enough of them. I can hear you. Good for you. Well, I'll tell you what. Who's with you, Bill? My wife, Betty, and I have a friend of cross town, Lucille Kane, watching with me. Hi, Lucille. What it is? Okay. Well, Lucille. And you talked about her anniversary of mine, the 10th of next month. Well, happy anniversary to you, Bill. But I got quite a few years on you. Oh, I know. A few more chickens choked than I did. Yeah, I hear you. Well, uh, good to have you with us, Bill. Hang on. We'll see how you do, okay? All right. We're going to meet Debbie Little from Richmond, Virginia. Hiya, Debbie. Hello. How, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Are you going to go out and uh, New Year's revel or just hang out? i uh, just go hang out at home. All right. So who's with you? I've got my husband and my son. Both with you, just kind of having a nice, quiet evening at home? Exactly. Oh, nice. Well, uh, 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 what do you do, uh, uh, Debbie? I'm a school bus driver. Wow. Now, down uh, up there in Richmond, Virginia, you get ice and snow, and you got to be a good driver. Yeah, but right now we've been real lucky. We've only had just a few snowflakes, so we're waiting for it. Yeah, I bet uh, January and February will hit you hard. But you, exactly. But you hang in there. Uh, okay, got, good to have you with us, Debbie. It's find out how well you ride a horse. But let me go meet our last player, and then we'll rock and roll, okay? We got Susan Kern from Philadelphia, PA. Susan, how are you? Good. Good. Now, where in Philadelphia do you live? I mean, do you live like in the city itself? 
No, in the suburb. In the suburb. Which one? Summerton. Summerton. How far is that from Philly? Mm, about 20 minutes. Okay, could you send me a Philly cheesecake? Or a Philly, yes. uh, yeah, Philly cheese, what is it? Cheesecake. Philly? Yeah, could you send me one? Sure. Great, cool. Okay, we're set. Now, who's with you, Susan? My husband, Chris. Just you and Chris uh, by your lonesome? Uh, our son's in bed. Oh, he's in bed. So you guys are going to have a little romantic night. You're going to, like, open up a bottle of champagne around midnight and just kind of cuddle up? Uh, no champagne. I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah, you can't do the champagne. But you can still do the cuddle. Right. Yeah, a little cuddle good. So you guys cuddle around midnight and we'll... Uh, be waiting to hear from you, okay? Okay. All right, hang on here. Let's go racing. I'm going up the press box. Let's find out what you guys get if you win the race. Tap into the potential of Zoob. Whether you're creating wild creatures or contraptions, DNA or dinosaurs, jewelry or spaceships, Zoob reveals how things connect the world around you. More than a toy, it's the first plastic life form. Hey, it's no chicken, but it's a Zoob. I got to tell you right now, we got 10 furlong race. Correct answer's worth one in the first Second question is worth two, third, three, fourth, four, blah, blah, blah. It goes on infinitum. And let's go down to the field. Okay, gang, I'm going to read you a question, give you three choices. You have five seconds to enter it on your keypad. Don't do anything until you see the three lighted buttons on the screen, but fill in the missing number. Okay, horses are in the starting gate, and they're ready to go. And they're off. And here's your first question for one for long. If you're admitted to West Point, you're obligated to how many years of military service? Five, six, or eight? I always thought in the military you could just leave whenever you wanted. The sound through, I'm going to... Correct answer is five. And nobody knew that. I guess everybody felt that they could just pretty much split. Okay, next question worth two furlongs. On an American Airlines flight, what is the maximum number of pounds your carry-on baggage can weigh? 50, 60, or 70? Okay, I guess it depends on how heavy it is. No. I didn't. Correct answer is 70. And Rich, who travels quite a bit evidently, has moved out into the lead. Okay, next question worth three furlongs. How many men have been regular hosts of the game show? Wheel of Fortune! Three, four, or six? I wasn't one of them, so I should have. I don't know. I think the correct answer is four. Nobody knew that. Let me see if I can know. Pat Sajak, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, Woolery, uh, the place kicker for the Chargers. And I don't know who the fourth one is. Okay. Next, <laughs> next question is worth four furlongs. I'm a wealth of information. Okay. In the game of pool, what number is on the red striped ball? 11, 13, or 15? I would expect that Rich and Bill would know this. Debbie and Susan, you never know. But it's an interesting question. Correct answer is 15. Nobody. Okay. This is going to be a long race, folks. This is going to be a 25 furlong race. Here's the next question. Don't fool them. Don't fool them. I hate when they do that. Former Beatle Paul McCartney and his wife Linda have had how many children together? Two, three, or four? It's interesting when Paul says one number and his wife says another number. <laughs> Correct answer is three. Three. Okay. Next question is worth... How many furlongs? This question is worth 15,000 furlongs? What is this? Six furlongs. Wow. F five furlongs. Thank you for your help. Fans of the New Age novel, The Celestine Pro Prophecy, made a bestseller of its sequel to what number in sight? 10, 12, or 16? I don't even know how to read the question. I want to know the answer is. Correct answer is 10. Debbie! I love Deb. I've always loved Deb. She's the best. Okay. Deb's moving way out into the lead. This next question's worth a lot of furlongs, and we could have a winner in Debbie here. How many times is the word liar used in the title of a recent Jim Carrey movie? Zero, two, or three? That's a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know how many. Correct answer is two, and Debbie's moving out. She's getting followed there by Rich, but he's not going to make it. I don't think Rich. Debbie. Hey, Deb, yo, you made it. Great race. All you're gonna, right. You're going to go out and play the Triple Crown in just a minute for a chance to get great uh, fireplace set. And for your other jockeys, thanks for being with us, everybody. Have a nice New Year, and uh, we'll, we'll see you back after we uh, look at these messages. Come on. Come on back. Yeah, we're here with today's winners. We've got Diane and Debbie. Uh, Diane from Goldendale, Washington, and Debbie, of course, from Richmond, Virginia. And in a few months, one of you will win the Triple Crown Championship and read today's grand prize. We're talking about the power play set. Let me tell you how Triple Crown works. First person to accumulate three crowns will be our champion. The first one to play four squares in this board contains a single 
crown. There they are. And uh, if you and the two squares contain two crowns. Yeah. And if you land on one of these squares and answer a question correctly within four seconds, the crown or crown be yours. Kind of cool. That's also one square that gives you one free crown. There it is, without even answering a question, which is awesome. But watch out for the square that says, lose your turn. Okay, because that's a bummer. After the first round, we'll activate the triple crown square, which will give the player who lands on it, boom, an instantaneous win, if not sooner. Now let's find out about today's grand prizola. Real fire gas logs and Hallmark brass accessories by the Robert H. Peterson Company bring added enjoyment and warmth to your fireplace. By the way, before I forget, it was uh, Rolf Bernerski who hosted uh, Wheel and Bob Gowan. Those are the other two besides uh, Pat Sajak and Chuck Woolery. What do I win? Okay, we'll be back. Okay, welcome back to our New Year's version of uh, Trivia Track uh, Triple Crown. Do you see how we decorated the place? Yeah, we spared no expense. We're back here with Diane and Debbie. And, uh, oh, you know, Debbie, what's great is you've already won the Zub goodies, which means that when you drive the bus, you give it to the kids to play, and they won't drive you nuts. All right. Cool. All right, here's how we work this. First person to accumulate three crowns is our champion. If time runs out before that happens, whoever is ahead wins the game. Seems fair to me. Okay, when I start the randomizer, you have four seconds to stop it by pressing zero on your telephone keypad. Only the zero key will work if you haven't pressed zero. Boom! After four seconds, it'll do it for you, so you don't want to do that, so be cool, okay? Up until now, you've been asked to press numbers, and da-da-da, and now, speak to me. You know what I mean? Speak to me. Show me the money. Give me the letter of your choice, A or B, and then give me the answer, and you have four seconds to respond, and if not, your entire house is leveled. Okay. Now, Diane, you won the first race, so you'll go first. Let's start the randomizer. You've got four seconds to press zero. Give. A free crown, Diane, you don't have to do zip, as in do now. So now we go over to Debbie. Debbie, you got the randomizer, you got four seconds to press zero. Hit it, go. Uh, could you believe this? Oh my gosh, back to Diane. Diane, let's see how lucky you are again. It's, and we're gonna go to the, the triple crown, I think is gonna happen now. That's, look at that. Yeah, that means if you land on that, you get a win right away or sooner. Okay, now, Diane, we're back to you. You got the uh, randomizer, go. One crown. Okay, this time you have to earn it. Here's the question with one crown. What was the first Bruce Springsteen single to make it into the Billboard Top 40? Was it A, Born to Run, B, Hungry Heart? Diane, what do you think? I think that's B, Hungry Heart. You think it's B, Hungry Heart? The question, answer is A, Born to Run. Okay, Debbie, it's a break for you. You're back in the game. Debbie, hit the yeah. randomizer, go. One free crown. You got what Diane got last time. So now we'll go back to Diane. Diane, this is getting a seesaw battle here. Uh, you got the randomizer control. Go. You did it. An instantaneous, if not instant win. <laughs> Diane, you live right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you won. You. You're the triple crown champion. Nice going. Good. You feel good about that? Yeah, I feel great. Okay, and Debbie, uh, you know, you're going to get a uh, $25 McMillan publishing gift certificate for, for e each one you got right, so you're going to get $25, and, and you've also got the Zub brand toys you won in the uh, race, so I'd say you did oh, pretty decently, you know, and, and thanks for being with us, and have a real nice new year, okay? Thank you. You do thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, and Diane... This is exciting because you won the Triple Crown. You got a, you got a, a fabulous deck to walls, and, and you also won the, the, the fireplace set. And I, is, are, you, are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm speechless. Is there, is there folks with you there? Huh? Are there a lot of people with you? No, just my husband and our dog. Okay, would you like to hear what Dave and Nancy have to say? Sure. Why not? You know, what the heck? Come on. Thank you, Peter. Join Dave and me on Game TV. We'll give away some great prizes playing one of our live interactive games. And we'll tell you about some exciting programs that are coming up right here on Game Show Network. Or you know what? We might introduce you to one of our special guests, preview the latest video games, or take you behind the scenes of your favorite game show. That's right. You know, Dave, Game TV is a wealth of entertainment. Exactly, Nancy. We're like hitting the fun and games lottery. So, folks, be a winner. Watch us on Game TV. And speaking of winners, let's go back to Peter Tamarkin on Trivia Track. Take it away, Peter! Oh, they're so wise. Uh, yes, indeed. And I'm going to tell you, if you folk, if, for those of you who are not staying uh, longer to, to watch Super Decades later on, shame on you. Oh, shame, shame, shame on you. But I just want to tell you, I want to wish you guys all a very happy 98, a great new year. It's a, it's a brand new start. 
So we put everything behind us and we move on into the future with great and good tidings. So uh, I, I wish you all, and those of you who are staying on, don't pay any attention to what I just said. I'll say it again after we do Super Decades, and I'll bore you once again. So, hey, uh, join us uh, on Monday at post time. Actually, Marianne Coran will be back, and uh, she'll give you another day at the races on Tribute Track, and stick with her because she's a pistol. <laughs> See you later. Some of our players may receive the following. Take the Jeopardy Challenge at home with the official Jeopardy scorekeeper. Simply use Keep Score and play along with Jeopardy every day. Call 1-800-JEOPARDY and take the Jeopardy Challenge. Macmillan Reference USA, a leading reference publisher. Got a question? Get an answer in a Macmillan Reference book. Available at bookstores everywhere from Macmillan General Reference.